welcome to god's word fellowship i'm gerald santiago and we are studying about the fear of the lord let's pray father we come to you in the name of our lord jesus father we thank you so much for your holy written word father we thank you so much your words are truth father we thank you heaven and earth will pass away but your words will never pass away father we thank you so much you are faithful father you are trustworthy father we lean on you father we trust in you father you are our maker our shepherd father you are the maker of heaven and earth father you are el shaddai the lord almighty father we thank you so much for leading us guiding us and providing for us father we thank you for protecting us father you are our good shepherd and father we refuse to worry we refuse to fear for you are with us and we will not fear Hallelujah to Jesus glory be to God Father we thank you that we will have all of our needs met Father we thank you so much that we will have more than enough Father we thank you our cup runs over Father we thank you for overflow of blessings Father we thank you so much surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life even in the days of lockdown Father you are so good so great and so awesome Father you are the greater one and nothing is impossible for you and Father we thank you so much for restoring and refreshing the souls of the people who are listening to my voice right now Father in the name of Jesus let every stress be removed in the name of Jesus I break down depression in the name of Jesus I break chains of depression in the name of Jesus I speak peace over their minds in the name of Jesus peace 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 hallelujah to jesus glory be to god blessed be your holy name and father we pray you teach us your word today father we pray that you grant us wisdom knowledge understanding and revelation in your word your will and your law father we pray you grant us ideas concepts and insights father we pray you grant us word in due season father we pray you grant us words that will build our lives our families our ministries our businesses our jobs our um Hallelujah to Jesus and Father we thank you for answers and solutions Father we pray you stretch out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus Father we thank you so much you heard and answered our prayers Father we come to you for our nation India and our state our city our local areas Father we pray for your great mercy upon our people Father you are so rich in mercy abundant in mercy you are full of goodness full of compassion Father you are love Father you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten son Father our Lord Jesus has shed his precious and holy blood for them Father you formed them in the mother's womb you made them you give them breath life and all good things and Father out of your great mercy because of your great love everlasting kindness Father we pray you stretch out your mighty hand and bring about a marvelous deliverance from the coronavirus in the name of Jesus coronavirus die and be destroyed in in the name of jesus let every scheme every plan every device every weapon behind the coronavirus be broken and destroyed in the name of jesus christ we bind the works of the devil behind the coronavirus father we thank you so much for your marvelous help for our nation and father we bring before you the first responders and their families father we pray for your mighty protection upon them father we plead the blood of our lord jesus christ over them father we pray you keep them as the apple of your eye and father we pray you protect them and deliver them from the corona virus and father we pray you grant them good health and strength father we pray that you grant them peace and guard their hearts and minds with your great peace father we thank you so much for your great and precious love hallelujah to jesus praise you father holy be your name blessed be your name father we thank you so much you heard and answered our prayers father in the name of our lord jesus we pray amen hallelujah Hallelujah please do continue to pray for our nation stand in gap for our nation as Christians it is our responsibility because we are the ones who can deal with the spiritual part of this see any problem that you are facing is is not just natural although the impact is natural and it is happening in uh, in a very <laughs> realistic way where you can see touch and feel and experience but the root is spiritual and it has to be dealt in the spiritual realm and the only people who can do that is us christians do you understand that right 
that's why it's so important that we intercede for our nation right and we supply make supplications to our father in the name of our lord jesus and we use the authority that god has given us over the works of the devil do you understand that we need to be doing that please continue to do it day in day out do it whenever you remember right do it in the morning in your devotion do it in your family prayer do it as you are you know, going through your day whenever you remember remember just plead the mercy of our god right speak protection and peace over our nation right bind the works of the devil concerning the corona virus right speak against the virus speak destruction <laughs> over the virus you understand that right command the virus to be destroyed hallelujah right just just, just keep doing it through the day through the day through the day right we need we need to be aggressive about this hallelujah to jesus glory be to god blessed be his holy name hallelujah Let, let's go to our text today go with me to psalm 34 we are studying about the fear of the lord beginning yesterday and let's read our text and then we will continue our study verse 7 onwards the angel of the lord encampeth i like that encampeth right so so that they camp around you <laughs> not just one angel you know here it says the angel of the lord but in other places you see that god has assigned more than one angel for us right so the angels of the lord encamp round about them that fear him and deliver them oh taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the man that trusteth in him oh fear the lord you his saints for there is no want there is no lack to them that fear him the young lions do lack and suffer hunger but they that seek the lord shall not want shall not lack any good thing i want you to see notice how fear for god honoring god and trusting him and seeking him are being used interchangeably in these passages right they are all talking about the same thing they they are in sync they, it's it's one message right i want you to notice this how the fear of god honor for god trusting god and seeking god are all used together right notice that because we are going to talk about those things verse 11 come ye children hearken unto me i will teach you the fear of the lord what man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good that would be all of us right <laughs> keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guile or deceit depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it hallelujah to jesus that's a great passage of scripture this is something that you can just keep reading any time you want right glorious passage of scripture with great promises and great commandments and great instructions this kind this this passage will change your life right you if you apply this passage to your life and you you will do really well in your life hallelujah to jesus you know we be study the bible read the bible not for you know developing uh, our just our knowledge which is important of course or we are not doing this just for you know getting some new information now we 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 are learning this so that we can apply these things to our life and i can guarantee you if you would apply this passage to your life you are set for life hallelujah hallelujah to jesus so yesterday we looked at uh, verse 7 and we we began to uh, say a few things first of all we made this statement that um, uh, the beginning of fear of the lord or honor for god is faith you know you have to first of all believe that god is and that he would reward those who seek him right that, that 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 that's the very beginning of fear of god or honor for god without that there is no honor for god <laughs> how are you honoring him if you don't believe that he exists <laughs> how are you honoring him if you don't believe that he is going to reward you right <laughs> if, if there is no benefit for all that we do you know why would you do it <laughs> right you know some people sound spiritual we we are expecting uh, something in the in the in the, the ages to come yes still you are believing that god is going to reward you in the eternal right so <laughs> you are believing some form of reward 
right but uh, you know truth be told god works with a double reward system right he rewards us in this life and in the age to come right if you read uh, first timothy chapter 4 verse 8 you read mark chapter 10 where jesus is speaking to that young man young rich ruler and i'm not him actually after in the in that teaching uh, peter asked the questions what about us we have for second everything so jesus answers peter and while teaching while answering peter jesus talks about this double reward system again so uh, the kingdom of god operates with a double reward system right it's better than even what the world can do because the world at the most it can reward you here right but god he rewards you here on this earth and he will also reward you in eternity all right then let's let's look at this verse 7 yesterday we said that um faith is the beginning of honor for god we have faith in god faith that god exists faith that god made you faith that god created you and faith that god will reward those who diligently seek him see that's the beginning of honor for god right that that's the fundamental for honor for i uh, know fundamental of honor for god hallelujah all right then now let's um continue our study let's go to verse 7 again the angel of the lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver him and we spoke about how the angel of the lord is involved in protecting us from evil and from plague let's go to psalm 91 again Psalm 91 This is important to review so that's why we are looking at it verse 9 Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high your habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling Notice how uh, God is promising us that no evil will befall us no evil <laughs> so anything that is named evil it will not be false <laughs> right anything that could be called a plague will not come near our dwelling right why the answer is given in verse 11 for he will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee protect thee in all your ways see god has assigned angels to protect us from evil and all forms of evil and all forms of plague all forms of pestilence verse 3 of psalm 91 says surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome or deadly pestilence so god will protect us from all forms of evil and god also will protect us from all forms of pestilence right you you should understand that especially in this time right you 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 should take hold of these truths you know in um, part of our redemption is that we are redeemed from the curse of the law galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14 talk about that right christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law and the pestilence falls under the curse eh right? deuteronomy chapter 28 talks about that deuteronomy chapter 28 and um let's look at verse 21 and the lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whither thou goest to possess it notice how the pestilence is part of the curse of the law this is what christ has redeemed us from so it would benefit you greatly if you would go around saying every day god is my refuge the most high the el shaddai the lord almighty is my refuge and my fortress my god in him i trust no evil will befall me no plague will come near my dwelling in the name of jesus i will live long strong healthy and will fulfill the will of god for my life now i i make a very small pr- uh, i i make a small prayer before uh, i eat my food it goes like this i will thank god for the food i will thank god for the blessing upon my food and i will thank god that my lord jesus took my infirmities bore my sicknesses and thank god that he has given me good health and strength now this is all based on exodus chapter 25 i mean 23 verse 25 and 26 and um 
and i would thank god that i will live long strong healthy and will fulfill god's will for my life i speak those blessings over me every day it's based on galatians 3:13 right and isaiah 53 and exodus chapter um, 23 verses 25 and 26 see those words you know the reason i'm i'm giving you that example is because these words of faith will build a shield around you that they will build a fortress around you so when the devil wants to attack you with something and then he is looking for uh, whom to devour you would be one of those people whom he cannot devour because your faith and the words of faith that you have spoken would act as a shield around you would act as a fortress around you and he simply cannot penetrate that do you understand this you should make this a habit right often all the time this should be something we should do daily now in this time of um, pandemic you know we we, we are um, talking about this and you know it is necessary people need it this is good right but more importantly this should be a daily habit right one reason why i didn't struggle so much with with the with, with the concerning fear about the pandemic is because i have been doing this for decades right speaking protection speaking healing speaking health speaking long life over me i have been doing this day in day out for years you understand that it's never too late to start <laughs> right so if you haven't been doing it i encourage you to do it do it in our words honor god you can honor god with your words or you can dishonor god with your words right we saw yesterday how there was a huge difference between um, the words that um, uh, Caleb and Joshua spoke and the words that uh, the people of Israel spoke and the words that the people of Israel spoke which were words of unbelief dishonored God and they got judged for that and the words that Caleb and Joshua spoke it honored God and they were uh, blessed for that let's go and look at that again go with me to numbers you know let's look at that in a little more detail today now sometimes when we talk about honoring god you know we don't really think in terms of faith and words but they are very important i can show you scripture after scripture where god is very particular about the words that people spoke concerning him and his principles look at the numbers numbers 14 numbers 14 and um notice the words of the people right verse 1 and all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried and the people wept that night and all the children of israel murmured underline that word murmur that's a dangerous thing to do in the midst of the trouble right if there is something that you should not do you shouldn't murmur and you do not blame god for anything right right that, that those are dangerous things that that's something that you should avoid right just outright avoid murmuring right complaining and blaming god no 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 big nose big nose right you do not do that for any reason whatsoever reason right you don't murmur you do not complain and you never ever 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 blame god never do that right absolutely never see our help is in god right god is the source of our help god loves us nobody loves you like god loves you nobody cares for you like god cares for you nobody will take care of you like god will take care of you nobody will protect you like god will protect you any area whatever it is the answer is in god and god is with you and loves you and cares for you to blame god is it's you know you know i'm let me put it bluntly it's it's plain stupid right it's just ignorance right don't don't do don't, don't do that never blame god never hallelujah hallelujah to jesus all right let, let let's read verse 2 and all the children of israel murmured against moses and against aaron the whole congregation said unto them would god that we had died in the land of egypt or would god that we had died in this wilderness wherefore has the lord brought us into this land 
to fall by the sword did god ever say that he brought them to fall by the sword he did not that our wives and our children should be a prey at any point of time where the children the wives and the children of israelites become a prey until up till that moment no were it not better for us to return to egypt how was their life better in egypt now these people are masters of their own lives they have wealth they had health they had their wives and their children they were being given food every day supernaturally being given water supernaturally god has been with them led them guide guided them protected them fought battles for them right what has god done that warranted such words hmm nothing absolutely this is just pure unbelief this is yielding to the flesh and speaking in the heat of the moment right that the 10 people came and spoke stuff that they shouldn't have right and these people heard it and it just triggered their flesh they just started opening their mouth and rattling out stuff right notice verse 4 you know this kind of speech dishonors god it dishonored god god brought them out god delivered them from the house of bondage their lives were bitter death would have been preferable for them right but these people were delivered by god almighty from that bondage from that bitter life and god is leading them to a land of promise and god has proved himself faithful over and over again and yet they spoke such words in you know, these words dishonored god this is not how you fear god this is the exact opposite of fearing god they spoke without honor for god they spoke without fear for god do, do you understand this hmm? go with me to psalm 78 and um, let's read from verse um, 18 they tempted god this is psalm 78 verse 18 and they tempted god in their heart by asking meat for their lust yeah they spake against god they said can god furnish a table in the wilderness behold he smote the rock that the waters gushed out the streams overflowed can he give bread also can he provide flesh for his people right we saw god do great things you know he gave we brought water out of a rock and made rivers like you know water run like rivers in the desert but can he give me non veg i want some non veg see it's not that they were believing for non veg right they were testing him they are saying can he they didn't say he will he can they said can he do you see this hmm so they are testing god they are tempting god hmm <coughs> notice verse 21 therefore the lord heard this and was wroth so a fire was kindled against jacob and anger also came up against israel notice because they believed not in god and trusted not in his salvation many times we don't um, you know connect we don't associate wrath with unbelief more often we uh, you know connect wrath with the idolatry or uh, sexual immorality or uh, you know some some other sin of that sort right and uh, while those things are serious things you, you you should not have anything to do with idolatry and you should not have anything to do with sexual immorality right but many times we ignore faith we we don't associate faith with honor for god we don't associate faith with fear of god notice these words were spoken without any honor for god see there is no gratefulness in it right god has been giving them angels food there is no thanks for that have you read anywhere where these these people thanked god for the manna or they sang a song for over manna right god is giving them angels food daily do 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 we see any song written anywhere no we know that they grumbled and complained about manna but nowhere will you read that they they were so grateful to receive the manna right there is no song about that have you noticed that hmm so th- there is no gratefulness here there is no faith here 
right it is just contempt right and yielding to fleshly desires that's what you see here notice why was why why did wrath come against them in that instance because they believed not in god and trusted not in his salvation they didn't believe that god can do something about this see every time they came to a difficult spot god expected them to look to him but you know the israelites never did that they walk 3 days without water they come to mara and god is walking along this this just amazes me right god is walking alongside with them in the pillar of cloud and in the pillar of fire hmm and 3 days they go without water while having god right next to them visibly visibly hmm some people think if if i can just see god i will be good no no not really <laughs> not really hmm and these people could see god they could see the visible manifested presence of god and they walked for 3 days without even a thought about okay i could ask god to help me here right 3 days they walked without seeking god concerning their problem right and they come to mara what's their uh, automated response they grumbled they complained hmm Gum- grumbling and complaining is not good right you know that that does not honor god murmuring does not honor god complaining does not honor god words of tempting god that they, that does not honor god you want to be speaking words of gratefulness words of thankfulness words of faith that's what you should be speaking in this time you know what what, what do i do what do i do keep thanking god go remember your life remember all that god has done for you till now hmm remember how god has helped you till now and remember he is ebenezer he helped you till now he will also help you in the future hmm god who was and is will also be in your future so you don't have to really worry do you understand this yeah so keep thanking god for what he has done till now keep voicing your gratefulness keep voicing your thankfulness over and over and over and over again sing songs to him worship him right celebrate him hallelujah sing songs praise god worship him right remember redemption you know, remember all the works of redemption that jesus has accomplished for you how jesus has redeemed you right remember how jesus saved you from hell and has made you a citizen of heaven today remember how god has been with you and helped you in all the different difficulties and the problems right rem count your blessings right count your blessing take the time and count your blessings right do that be grateful and speak words of faith concerning your present and your future right deliberately on purpose that's why we are talking about these verses right say this with me i dwell in the secret place of the most high i abide under the shadow of the almighty the lord is my refuge and my fortress my god in him i will trust no evil will befall me no plague will come near my dwelling no weapon formed against me will prosper surely the lord will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence the lord almighty has given commandment to his angels to protect me i have supernatural protection na right? keep saying these things these, these kind of words over and over again go look at these psalms look at psalm 34 look at psalm 91 look at psalm 121 look at psalm 23 psalm 95 right go 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 read them again and again and again and again even though you know the many of us know these psalms by heart right at least psalm 23 91 121 we would know them by heart even though we know them we should look at them read them and just keep saying you know, keep refreshing our mind and and our heart with those words it will strengthen you 
right and then speak these confessions over your your life right speak words of faith over your present and over your future that that's the kind of words god wants to hear let me let me show you another scripture about words oh boy <laughs> you crossed our time already all right then so we we will continue our study next week about this in um uh, wednesday we will have word feast tomorrow we will have our video messages published in youtube please to listen to them and share the video with your friends family relatives coworkers neighbors people who need the word people who love the word share it with them share these audio messages also english and tamil audio messages you can share it with people whom you know who need the word of god who love the word right share it with your family friends relatives coworkers right share it with the believers and servants of god god will honor you and uh, please do send us your prayer requests uh, ma- make a note of our uh, whatsapp number it's 9944283332 also make a note of our um, email address it is prayer at gwfindia.in right uh, send your prayer request to the whatsapp number or to the email address and we will believe god along with you god will do awesome things for you please do send us your testimonies of how god is working in your life through this ministry we love to hear that and those of you who want to send offerings to this ministry or become a partner in this ministry visit our website gwfindia.in click on the donate page and you will have all the options wherein you can choose whatever is comfortable for you right god will honor you god will meet all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus god will reward you a hundredfold thank you so much for listening god bless you jesus is coming soon